What is up guys, Savage TV Productions here today, I'm going to bring you a brand new video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be doing a microphone comparison between the May Ono oh AU A04 versus the Blue Snowball Ice. That's coming up right now. Okay, so um, right now I'm using the camera's audio right now to speak to you, and I got the my AU A04 over here on this boom arm that it came with in a microphone set, and uh, I'm gonna switch to this mic, metronome, and I'm gonna switch to uh, this microphone uh, right now. Now I'm speaking into the AU. A04. Now this is what the microphone sounds like. This is a USB microphone. You can plug it just straight into computer and then it'll start working. And uh, let's go over the specs on this microphone. Now the specs on this microphone are it has a frequency response of 30 hertz to 16 kilohertz. It's got a sensitivity of minus 38 dB and minus 3 decibels. I'm just reading off of the Amazon of spec sheet here. I don't really know. 0 dB equals 1 VPA at 1 kilohertz. I don't really know. <laughs> and you got a sampling rate of up to 192 kilohertz or 24-bit. And then it got an SN ratio of 70 dB. I'll put on the screen what that is right over there. And it's got a max, maximum, max SPL of 120 decibels. So uh, yeah, that's the specs on this microphone. I had this microphone for about five months now, and then I've been using this pretty much a lot. I've been a bit of retiring this uh, list, uh, this blue snowball ice, but uh, yeah, this is the AU A04 microphone. Now I'm gonna switch over to the the snowball. I'm gonna hook it up to the boom arm over here with because it has that kind of threading inside there so yeah let's switch over to the s snowball mic okay so I'm now speaking into the blue snowball ice and uh, I forgot to mention that the the AU A04 and this mic are both condenser microphones now this one I'm not using a pop filter on it because as you can see it's it won't work it's an unusual shape but I did see some little bit of foam inside it to kind of cut out some of the plosives so um yeah let's just go over the specs on this microphone so this is um not a USB A microphone this is a this is a micro USB uh microphone so uh this is a cardioid polar pattern it's got a frequency response of 40 to 18 kilohertz it's got a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz or and 16-bit and it weighs 460 grams and it's 32 millimeters in circumference I'm reading from the spec sheet <laughs> it was on the screen the whole time but uh yeah that's and that's pretty much it I'm speaking into this microphone with no effects no effects are being taken on this mic this is just the what you would expect if you just taking the microphone out of the box and uh, plugged in directly and I've already done a review on this mic, but yeah. I'm just doing a comparison between the two because they are at similar price points. So uh, yeah, this is what the microphone sounds like. No effects, just raw audio. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go back to this microphone. Go back to this microphone, but with some effects. Tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day, and um, I don't know if you can tell, the light is gone and you can see me now in a gray hoodie I know and uh, it's cloudy outside it is a cloudy day today so uh, this is what the AU A04 sounds like put through some effects so if you could get over to the computer screen you can see I don't know if I'm talking directly into this or I'm supposed to uh, as you can see um, we're clipping <laughs> I don't know why we're clipping um, we have a, a compressor on here, an EQ, 
uh, another EQ so I can visualize what I'm. I can only see I'm talking in the mids a bit, mids and highs a bit, but uh, that's kind of fine. I hear through my headphones, so it's pretty good. And I also have a limiter up in here, but I don't think that's really working, <laughs> working as well. So just basic the basic audio processing, just a compressor and EQ. That's pretty much all you need to make a mic sound good, and uh, maybe room treatment, but. That's that's an episode for another day, and uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's this is what the AU A O four sounds like. Put through put through some effects, and uh, let's hear what the snowball mic sounds like. And then after we hear that, we're gonna go into the instrument test. So, so for this next part for the snowball, I just came back from outside, so my hair is probably a mess right now. It is a big mess. Just to let you know. Okay, so now you're listening to the blue snowball ice. Put through only an EQ, <laughs> only an EQ. You don't no compressor, just a uh, a low cut and a boosted high. Yeah, only an EQ. I mean, I might throw a compressor on there, but uh, it might be a bit too subtle. But yeah, it might help the gain kind of level out a bit. So uh, yeah, I don't think there's nothing much to say here. Just here's the microphone. Put through an effect. This is what it sounds like. So, uh, yeah, how about we just go to an instrument test through my, that was bad. What just happened? Okay. Um, with this guitar, I'm going to put it through the other mic, not this one. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into that right now. Yeah. tomorrow so what are my thoughts on these two microphones well the AUAU4 is this expensive and the snowball is this expensive so um, of course the AUAU4 will be a bit expensive because it is part of a podcasting kit you could get this like microphone alone if you buy it used on eBay or something but you can't really get this mic on its own so that's why I just included it because it just came with the kit so this microphone comes with a boom arm which feels really solid which is what I'm using right now it feels really high quality feels like it's gonna last a while but probably not forever though but I kind of not a big fan of the little springs because when you're moving it the springs might ring a little bit which creates a not a satisfying sound and um, it comes with a pop filter, a foam windscreen, which I have on right now, and the mic itself, and a shock mount. So um, the build quality on this microphone is good. It's got an all-metal body. The grill is made of metal also. Now, the, the grill does have a bit of give to it when you, like, kind of push onto it, but uh, nobody's going to push on the grill, though. You're going to be speaking into the microphone. You're not going to be pushing on the grill. Hopefully. And the Snowball mic, it is... What else, What can I say about it? it? It's a good price. It sounds decent. The build quality is plastic. It's not metal. But the grill is, the grill is made of metal, though. 
and um, it includes this thing. Now, I'm not a fan of these little tripod stands because these literally sit on your desk and when you have the mic on it and then you are getting the sound from the microphone but you're not getting the actual good good sound that it creates because the microphone's all the way down here it's not up to your mouth so you won't get the good tone out of the microphone and also when you're hitting the desk or something it the sound will really run through the tripod stand into the mic which is really bad that's why I like a boom arm better because when you're hitting the desk or something you can't really hear that big little rumble in it because the shock mount is absorbing the vibrations from the table or something and when I'm typing you're not gonna get those really loud bangs I mean you might but make sure when you're like going to a computer the dead side of the mic is facing towards that sound source so you won't get picked up that much and but when you're using one of these things you're probably gonna hear it because <laughs> it's on the desk and your hands are on the desk so that's probably a bad idea um so which one is my favorite one well my favorite one is gonna be the AOA04 because this microphone is included with a whole e fully equipped kit not fully equipped but it's got like the basics that gets you started with recording and um, the sound is pretty good but what you're hearing right now is edited so and the price is a reasonable price I would say so uh, yeah I went I probably went by a little bit fast but uh, yeah that's gonna be wrapping up this video and um, I don't know if you noticed but um, the intro that, that you just saw said it doesn't have the my logo STP in it because I have now changed my producer name to Vibe Sounds. I'm not sure if I should change Savage TV Productions to Vibe Sounds. And um, as you see from the end card, it's going to say Vibe Sounds on my social. So that's fine. And I've changed my socials and everything. So yeah. Links and stuff happening will be in the description down below. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll be back soon with a new video.